Hello YouTube, this is Kenny Kadia and welcome to Hexit Education. This is going to be a slightly different kind of uh, Let's Play in that it's not really a Let's Play. It's going to be a Let's Play combined with a mod pack review. I am in Hexit version 1.0, I believe, or 1.001, utilizing Minecraft 1.2 using the TechNet launcher. And um, I, I am here basically to show you around this around this mod pack. I've been playing this mod pack for a um, number of number of weeks now. This is my fourth world that, that, that I've created, and I realized that in looking over at YouTube, there are a number of Let's Players, especially who have, are trying out Hexit and don't really understand what, 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 what it's like to play this game. That they're, you know, they're going going out into the world and they're checking out everything to see, occasionally stumbling into dungeons, but they don't really understand the component elements. And those who do understand the component elements, the ones who are, who are doing review shows, are doing mod review shows, not mod pack review shows. I want this to be a true mod pack review. And given that there are 68 total mods, not including all the technical, the uh, hidden ones, that is quite a daunting task. So. I have I decided to put together a curriculum of approximately 100 episodes. So if I average one a week, this will take me two years to complete. Hopefully, it won't be that long, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, uh, this first episode it's going to be an introduction, similar to many college courses. I'm just going to uh, let you know what, what to expect from the course and give you a little tour of this, which is our overworld campus. Uh, we, we we are on a, on a peninsula. This is a shrubland. A biome is similar to planes, and that's because we're, one of the mods we're using is Biomes XL. It's similar to plenty of biomes, and it, it adds uh, about a dozen more uh, biomes, all subtypes of existing ones. For example, Shrubland is a, is a planes. I'm going to show you the seed, because I, as I, want, I want to encourage you, actually, to replicate this world. And you can see my coordinates. They're up, up on the mini-map there. And... Um, I, I, I may in the future have a map available of this. I'm not sure how I do it at the moment, but I'll, I'll see if I can do that. But I should let you know that I've explored north, south, east, and west in a line up to 8,000 blocks. And that's about as far as I've gotten, which means that the quadrants, they're intervening the, those lines. Now, if you can imagine that, um, I have not. I have basically unexplored. However, in, in exploring the, the, in those four directions, I have found approximately 80% of all the... Uh, structures that I believe are included in, in Hexit, and uh, that's quite a bit of an accomplishment if I do so myself. Um, I wasn't able to find everything. I hope to find everything uh, as I as I approach the lesson, which is going to contain an element. Um, but we'll see where things go. I may, be, I may be able to find everything. I know for a fact that one of the mods they use in, in Hexit is Better Dungeons, and Better Dungeons includes, among other things, a slime cave, which is which spawns around level five. So there's pretty much no way I can actively find that without having to, I don't know, dig up the the entire place. And even then, there's no guarantee it was spawn in the first place. So I'll do my best to make this as all-encompassing as possible. Uh, the other thing I'm definitely going to try and do is is make this this um, mod pack show, uh, as I said, inclusive. Meaning that when we do our episode on, for example, pickaxes, I'm going to include a sampling of all the pickaxes that are available in this game, not just the ones that are available through, through any one mod. And uh, but However, in some cases, that's going to be unavoidable. A good, a good example of this is the Falling Meteors mod. There's simply nothing else in this game that's like meteors falling out of the sky. So, uh, and, and that, that's going to have to be its own show, uh, its own lesson, sorry. And uh, we'll kind of take things from there. Um, all right, so uh, th this this mod pack, um, mod pack review show, will expect that everyone here, I'm imagining people are in this classroom right now, even though it's empty at the moment, will imagine that everyone here is already familiar with, with Minecraft Vanilla, and in some ways is actually quite expert at Minecraft Vanilla, as, even that we're, we're going to be moving beyond that. Um, I expect everyone uh, who, who to take full advantage of this, of this course, uh, we'll, we'll be able to uh, be, begin playing the game, um, start start up a new world, and essentially play vanilla Minecraft until such time as they find that there's things they don't quite understand. Um, one one first piece of advice I will give is to avoid at all costs any structures when you first start playing a hexit. You'll want to get at least iron armor before you go inside anything. 
and that includes battle towers, that includes almost any kind of houses. And I'll show you an example of one thing you definitely do not want to set foot in before uh, you, you're adequately prepared for it. So uh, let's begin now our tour of this, the Overworld Campus. Over to your left is our Arboretum. This is, these are examples of all the different new tree types to be found in Hexit, and these will have their own um, individual episodes. Uh, this is an example of a ruin. This is, a, this is a sort of a decayed um, mossy cobblestone ruin. These are relatively common. They're, they're from the ruins mod. Uh, the pigs, as you know, are actually from vanilla. So they're all, they're all around here. Okay, on our left is, is, is the Overworld Campus Library. It has two floors. First floor is storage. Second floor is enchanting and eventually bookmaking. And we'll come to that when, when we in its own episodes. Uh, this is this is our little schoolhouse here. Uh, this is purely aesthetic, it, 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 and it's just here for a sort of an introduction. Um, most of the lesson will not take place in here, although introductions may take place in here when I begin episodes. Okay, continuing on, on our right here is our science building. First floor biology labs. Second floor chemistry and potion making. Basement biomass, which we'll definitely get to within the near future. Okay, on our right here is actually going to be our first ep our first lesson coming up soon, which is the the smeltery. So this is our forge. First floor is going to be is going to be smeltery and um, ba basic um, constru construction of materials and ores. Second floor is going to be melee weapons, which we're going to go back to many times when we deal with both melee weapon types and tool types. And basement is going to be our oreberry farm. And again, we'll I'll explain this in our next uh, next lesson. Over here on the right is what I was mentioning before. This is an example of a ruin called a decayed house. That's not the actual name, it's just what I happen to refer to it as. Under no circumstances do you ever, ever want to try to build a base inside this house. There are uh, very, very, very similar kinds of, of structures that generate, but they look like they're intact. If you happen to see a ruined structure, do not try to build in it. The reason is that half of the blocks in here are actually infested with silverfish. Yes. And if you get get into your head, it's a good idea to get rid of the silverfish box and just build it up afterwards. Remember that that would take you more than a day. So by the time you've got most of this thing cleaned out, you will be overrun with creepers and spiders and, and zombies. So stay clear of this thing. I keep it here as a reminder of where not to go. Actually, as a matter of fact, I was probably going to confess, in my first hexamap, this is my fourth one for this one, my first hexamap, I thought it would be a good idea to have this at a temporary base. Bad, bad business. Okay, moving on. Just past the forge is our track, where we will we'll, we'll, we'll be eventually having episodes on horses and chocobo. On our right is our animal farm. Uh, just normal vanilla, vanilla um, neutral mobs connected by a door to our biology lab, which we will, we will show you is very useful in the future. Continuing down, this is our stables, where you, you will see some chocobos here. And nothing. Hmm. Okay, there's a chicken in there. Huh. I'll have to look into that. There should have been horses in there. Ah, well. Oh, sun saying. I'm actually going to do a little bit of cheating. Uh, for the most part, I want to try and, and have this uh, Let's Play to be in, in uh, survival mode. However, when I'm doing st things like, like, like showing you guys around and do doing certain uh, lesson-related things, I will be occasionally be in creative mode. Okay, if you look up, you will see it's part of our, ast ast our astronomy tower. And... Um, you know, notice that this little ring here is actually part of a meteor warning system, which we will definitely get to when we get to our, our Fallen Meteors mod uh, um, lesson. It should be relatively soon in the future. Okay, and over here on your right, you will see this is a normal meteor strike crater. And uh, is there, there's diamonds over there. Yes, I see it. I'm not going to get it now because this is for education. This is an example of what will happen to your game. Um, the, you, um, and this is especially what will happen if you, for example, I don't know, try and build an overworld campus without installing first 
a meteor shield. So you can see that light source way up there, that's our meteor shield. This is what happens when you try and build before you install that. Very important lesson. Okay, so over here, this is the only part of the campus that's not fully formed yet. I'm calling this our trade house. This is basically going to be sort of a catch-all structure for various types of blocks that are introduced in Minecraft. I've got examples here of um, most of the types of wood that you'll encounter. And it's not finished yet, but it will be finished by the time we, we get to that, around the same time as we do the uh, episode on trees. Okay, moving on, we come to our playground, for lack of a better term. And I'll just give you a quick run. Check out this, in this place, because I think it's particularly cool. I have Basalt Cobblestone, which is added by, I believe, uh, it's the Natura mod. I could be wrong about that. And um, also the mar marble, cobbles, the marble cobblestone, which has been smelted back on for a little basketball court here. You know, shoot some hoops. So I, I, let's see if I can do this. Ah, missed. Goes up for the layup. And yeah. Okay, I've got some, some things here. Arrows, because you notice archery targets. This will be our area for archery practice when we get to our, our bows episode. And if you notice up here, this is actually a structure from, I believe this is from Natura, but I'm not, I'm not totally sure about that. These are just um, sort of a monolith with uh, oars on the top. I decided to build this um, playground around it. It's kind, of, it's kind of like being a rock climb. And um, just in case you guys think I haven't noticed, yes, I do notice that there is a gigantic pirate ship right on our campus, right over there, in fact. We will get to that probably in episode uh, 8 or 9. I really want to get to some of the other the other um, essentials of this game first before we deal with the, the fun stuff. And believe me, that these things, once you start looking for them, are all over the place. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Looking forward to that myself. Okay, so going back here towards the Arboretum, on our right, we have the Home Economics Building. Yes, this is a pink building. Uh, this, this is actually eucalyptus wood. It's one of the uh, woods added from Natura. Natura. First floor is cooking and food preparation. Second floor is fashion design. I think that's going to be annoying. Second floor is fashion design, which is going to include armor creation. Okay, continuing on, this is our greenhouse. It's green, and it's a house. It's a greenhouse. But you'll see in here we have several types of uh, foods, including these are called geishal greens. I'm, I'm going to mispronounce that every time. But these are actually a very useful um, vegetable for taming chocobos. Here we have an example of barley, and here we have cotton, and here we have bomb flowers. Yes, bomb flowers. We'll be getting to those when we get when we get a chance. Those are actually going to have to be part of their own uh, episode, along with all the other items from legend items, because those things are way too weird to be lumped into anything else. Okay, and I believe we are at the approaching end of our tour, heading back towards the uh, the, main, the main building here. Uh, you know what? I was saving it for its own episode, but yeah. I want to show you guys something. No, sorry, wrong way. Um, Hexit is an extremely fun mod, uh, mod pack that is. I've, pl I've played um, Tekkit, and it was uh, kind of hard to work with. Play Tekkit Lite. It was quite a bit of fun. I have I played uh, Moon Quest. Uh, that, that's the mod pack from uh, from the Yogs the Yogs cast that they were they were doing, and that that was a lot of fun. I'm still working on that honestly, but this one in particular, it just captivates me every single time. And if I can find it, I will show you exactly why that is. Whew, and there we are. I swear I'd lose my head if it wasn't screwed on. Okay. Here we go. See this here? This is our first lesson. This is quite possibly the single most important item in Hexit. This is a hexical flower. And when you pick it, it yields a hexical essence. So, let's begin our education. One hexical essence. You need four of these to make a hexical diamond. You need four of those in order to make a full set of one of three hexical uh, armor sets. 
The armor sets are quite good individually, but they are only good when they have a complete when they have a completed set. That is all four of them. So we will definitely be having our own episode on that, probably in the home Mac building. So I'm sure that uh, you're all excited to see what 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 else Hexa has to offer. And um, I'm, I'm glad you took the time to at least look at this introductory course. If you decide this is not, this is not the course for you, uh, you still have time to drop. But uh, if, if you decide to continue with this course, um, I'm looking forward to helping you to explore this amazing mod pack. And hopefully we'll have, we'll have a lot of fun together. And you'll learn something and you'll be able to do even more amazing things than you thought you would in this wonderful game of Minecraft. So... This has been Kanakadia for Hexit Education and Class Dismissed.